Okay, uh, today I wanted to speak about how to weaponize your natural flinch response. So everybody has a natural flinch response. By natural flinch response I mean uh, a response that your body has when it's triggered by surprise and fear. Okay, so if you look into it, uh, natural flinch response is something that happens when something happens unexpectedly. Uh, I'll give you an example. You're here minding your own business. You're in a nightclub or something and you, co you couldn't hear the person coming from your left. Someone is tapping on your shoulder and you turn around and all of a sudden you see someone who is like that ready to slap you, ready to punch you. Your reaction, if it's not trained, will be to get away from the source of agitation and put your hands forward in order to put something between you and the threat. This is a natural reflex, a natural flinch response. Same thing like, uh, to give you another example, if you place your finger on the flame, what will be your reaction? What will be your, your reflex? Your reflex will be to pull your finger as fast as possible from the, the flame, from the pain. It is a natural reaction, a natural reflex to run away from pain, run away from fear and run away from danger. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean that it's not something that can be trained. This is something that can be changed through visualization and through training. So, in order to gain this type of combative natural flinch response, as opposed to the defensive natural flinch response that most people have, um, that is driven by fear and surprise, it is something that you can train. So, I invite you to remember if it was the case for you, or you know, when someone, when you were younger and someone raised their hand at you, your reaction is always to, to, to flinch in some way, in some way. Some people put a silly face on and put their hands in front. Some people go like that. You know, it's all natural. Now, how do we weaponize this natural flinch response? How, we, how do we turn this into this, for example? The, anyone that is familiar with uh, Tony Blower's spear system where he turns a natural flinch response into this okay so imagine I'm there I'm minding my business and somebody is tapping on my shoulder and I see and the first thing I see is this instead of having this type of reaction I could be somebody is tapping on my shoulder I see that and I'm there right striking so I turn my natural flinch response into a combative natural flinch response okay now you have to visualize the power of visualization is something very important if you are good at visualizing you can make progress really really fast okay visualization is something that has been talked about for many many thousands of years for those that are interested into the ancient teachings or secret teachings of the mystery schools of ancient Egypt predating even from before in my opinion uh, hermeticism transcendental magic and all that thing I'm not going to go too deep in that subject because we're talking about self-protection here but the power of visualization is something very important if you can close your eyes and visualize a color until it actually appears on your black screen that's a good start then after colors you start you continue with images okay there is another word for that which is called mental imagery okay or you know something that you view inside your mind your mind's eye the black screen so now to give you a little recipe you have to see right okay my natural flinch response if something happens and I'm not expecting it is to put a silly face on and go fuck and put my hands right in front of me okay is that helpful the, the answer is not it's not helpful now if I want to turn this into something helpful I am gonna visualize my natural flinch response inside my mind with my closed eyes and 
I'm going to visualize the type of natural flinch response that I want to place, that I want to implement. Okay, so for example, this one. Okay, so I'm going to replace this by this, for example. Okay, now this is just one. This is just one. The other one could be, you know, I'm, uh, I'm there and somebody taps on my shoulder and I see that <coughs> the first thing I do is strike. Okay. No, probably. <laughs> okay, this is the type of natural flinch response that I train to have. Okay, strike. Be preemptive. It's not even being preemptive. The guy is already there. He's about to strike you. But if you are training to strike non-telegraphically and you train to be explosive, at the moment when he taps on my shoulder and when I turn, I see he's like that. I'm not waiting. <coughs> I'm punching. Okay. So this is what I will replace my natural flinch response that is defensive, untrained that is not productive, it's counterproductive, because by just doing this, I'm not doing anything bad to him, okay? It's the same type of situation where uh, most case of knife attack, there are things that we call primary cuts, okay? Or defensive wounds, which are usually slashes situated on the fingers, on the inside of the hands, and the inside of the forearms. Why? Because people have a natural flinch response of putting their hands first and that's where they get slashed. Okay? Instead of having the type of natural flinch response where oh shit I sit down ah, and I break in with my elbows. Yeah? Uh, that type of natural flinch response where I turn in I see something ah, and I'm going there. That type of natural flinch response where I'm turning and I see something ah, striking straight away okay this is what you want to develop so learn to weaponize your natural flinch response okay